Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make autumn leaves patterns, something similar to this. Our document must be 800 by 800 pixels. I like to have all my designs organized by layers. One for the drawing, one for the background, and another one for the sketch. As you see, I've started with a scan pencil sketch. I've drawn various types of leaves. It's important you draw big flashy ones like this ones and another's a bit smaller like this ones. This will be useful when assembling our pattern. Now let's choose our colors. Illustrator comes with some patterns that can serve as well. We just have to go up to the swatch palette, nature, season. If you want, you can use the autumn palette, but I prefer using my own colors with a couple of yellows, browns, and a few greens. I've also picked a couple of oranges from some details and a beige color from the background. So let's start drawing leaves. Trace the sketch with a pen tool. Once we have all the lines done, we can change the width and round the caps. For those of you who have a tablet, it's going to be really easy for you to use a brush tool, the pencil, or the blob brush tool. I will use the blob brush for the parts that have a filling and the pencil and brush for the strokes. Let's start creating the lines with the pencil tool. The stroke will be a basic 4 pixel variable width. When we have all the nerves, we group them up and expand them, so it will be easier to work with later.
When we are done with all the elements, we scatter them all over the artboard. We start on the top part. When we are done, we duplicate and paste on top. Without letting go of the selection, we click with the right button. Use Transform. We type 800 pixels for horizontal and 0 pixels for vertical. Now we have the top and bottom part completed. We repeat the same process, but this time placing the elements on the left side. Duplicate and paste on top. When you transform, type 800 pixels for horizontal and 0 pixels for vertical. We cannot move the edge elements if we want it to be a repetition pattern. Now we fill in the rest of the artboard. We can repeat leaves and elements and even change the colors. The bigger elements will stand up most in our pattern, but the smaller elements will help fill in the gaps left by the other elements. When we are done, group all the elements and send them back. We make a square the same size of our artboard, 800 by 800 pixels. We select everything and apply a mask. We continue and apply the transparency of one of the masks. We make a security copy just in case we have to change something. Now we go to the Pathfinder and choose Combine. Drag the result to the swatch panel and we have our pattern ready. Now we can draw any shape and fill it in with our pattern. If you want to sketch out the colors that I've used in this tutorial, you can download them then in the description box below. Well, hope you enjoy the tutorial and see you on the next one.